Photos is extremely tightly integrated with your iCloud photo library. And in fact, it's one of the reasons that Apple created Photos in the first place. The concept of having all of your photos at your fingertips, no matter what your device, is pretty appealing. You don't have to worry about losing them, about backing them up. All of your devices have access to them, and they're stored in the cloud. And you even save a bit of space because depending on your device and your settings, the photos may not be downloading to full quality to your device, so you might be able to just download preview smaller versions to your phone to save space there, while the full quality ones are in the cloud and you can access them on your computer or any other device if you choose to download the full version. Let's take a look at some of the advantages and how it works. I'm going to go to my albums, and I'm going to open up the Easter Train album. Now, let's say I go to a picture right here. There's Davis. And I'm going to make this picture a black and white picture. Let's use a filter and just drop it in. There it goes. That picture is now black and white. If I flip over to my iPad or iOS device, and I'm looking through at the pictures, I see that picture is in color right now, but in a moment, as the change gets reflected in the cloud and to the device, there it goes, it turned black and white. I can open it up, and I've got the full quality picture there in black and white. And if I edit it, I can take the filter off and restore it back to its former self again. I'll just tap this revert button. And now I've got the color picture, and you'll see it instantly gets reflected back in the desktop app as well. So not only are the photos synced, but the edits you make are synced. You can change them, add, remove filters, alter things. It's really up to you. And by doing that, you're really harnessing the full power of photos. You don't have to worry that if I make this photo black and white, it's going to be black and white forever. If you're out in the field and you're using your iPad and you want to show someone the original colors of the photo or the original uncropped edited of the photo, you can make the edits right there. You can import all of your photos at a high quality on your desktop app and then grab your iOS device and sit on the couch and edit them in ease. I've done that a bunch of times. I've gone on vacation, taken a bunch of shots that day, imported the full quality versions to the desktop app, and then grab my iPad, sit out on the couch, and done some leisurely edits on the iPad while I'm enjoying the evening. By using that power of iCloud, you're really using photos to its fullest extent.